My name is Stacy Sprinkle, and I am a partner at Morrison and Forrester. I lead the firm's global ethics and compliance practice. We tend to think about the uh, the sort of major components of a compliance program that fall within ESG. Compliance, more broadly, becomes particularly important in as much as companies are making statements externally to, you know, whether it's to shareholders or, or otherwise about their ESG programs and compliance becomes a tool to make sure that there are um, facts and procedures and policies in place to back up those statements and to make sure that um, those statements are accurate. Within ESG, there are a lot of different topics that we think of as compliance topics. And um, so those include compliance topics that have been more historical areas of focus, including anti-bribery and corruption, anti-money laundering sanctions, cybersecurity, data privacy. Um, but it also includes newer areas of focus. Certainly climate is and will remain a significant area of focus. And where we see things really headed is diversity, equity, inclusion, and human rights as being significant areas of, of compliance focus within ESG. What we're finding increasingly is that companies are tasking compliance teams with either the entire ESG program or aspects of an ESG program. And this makes a lot of sense because the skill sets that compliance teams have really cross over to the needs of an ESG program. Um, so some compliance teams are overseeing an entire program and others are playing more discrete roles, perhaps uh, with regard to supply chain diligence, with regard to policies, procedures, training, um, and, and other aspects of program communications. Either way, I think it's essential that compliance teams are playing a role in a company's ESG program given the substantial overlap between compliance and the various ESG topics. It can seem overwhelming uh, if you're tasked with setting up an ESG program because that can mean so many different things. And the way that I advise companies in general is to take an inventory of what you currently have. Most companies at this point, certainly not all, but most have components of what we think of as an ESG compliance program. So if companies start out by taking an inventory of what they currently have, it can seem a lot less daunting. Um, then what we'll do is take a look at, at risk and how ESG risk manifests and try to identify those gaps. Where are those places where you'll get sort of the most bang for your buck in terms of focusing compliance resources on developing programs to support ESG initiatives?